Hello, Big Boss. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. And you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah, much for joining sure. this show, man. I'm I'm so glad that you are here with us. You I'm glad it's small, not. You had yeah. some small technical challenges yesterday, but hopefully sure. today is yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was playing one of the one the, one of the songs that I I really enjoyed so much. And I, okay. I heard of it the first time from one of your one of your movies. I I don't okay. know whether you remember them or not. Let me see whether you can get it. All right. Let me okay. see. Whether you can guess them. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, no, it's been, I think it's been more than 10 years this movie. I think in a tape. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think right. in a tape. Right. Yeah, so viewers, right. those of you watching us from Europe, from Ghana, everywhere, like I would like to do some small presentation of, uh, of our guest today. He's mm -hmm. a movie actor and has been a role model for so many people for because he started way back and some of us we we hardly got his name we never knew of his real name but everybody will say it's pusha do you know pusha and and there was some other guy also called killer or something so the, that's right yeah used to yeah. be a pusha and he will be doing a killer and something of that sort yeah i mean yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's been a long time all right thank yeah. you very much for joining us so so how did you start the journey how was everything from infancy coming, did you know that you would definitely end up as, as a movie actor? No, I mean, of, of course, um, the very beginning, I, I never saw myself as, you know, being an actor. Uh, um, I knew, I mean, I loved movies, so it was one thing that I, I, I never joked with. I always watched movies um, from Chinese movies, Indian movies, you know, that was, those were the movies we started with because we, we, we didn't have a deep understanding of English language. We just want to watch, you know, things where there are fights, lots of fights, less talk, yeah. um, actually. Less talk. And, and so, yeah, you know, <laughs> get to the point. And so that's how it started for me. But um, as I grew up, I realized that there was some interest in, in, in really getting to know how, you know, characters, I mean, actors take up characters that they are not in real life. Mm -hmm. And then they play it so well, you know, and, yeah. and it fascinated me. And um um, even when I was growing up, I wasn't, at the point, I wasn't still sure what I wanted to do. I knew my daddy used to drop hints because he was a biochemist. So, he, you know, he wouldn't tell you that I want you to be a lawyer. I want you to be a doctor. You know, no, he was, um, he was colo, but he was forward, forward thinking, you know. Uh, he wasn't caught in those um, era where uh, everybody, every, every parent wanted their child to be a doctor or something of that yeah. sort. Um, you know, so, but he dropped hints of, you know, me wanting to be, he wanted me to be in towards the sciences, you know. Um, but Charlie, I looked at the guy's life, you know. He was just uh, no social life, you know. Work <laughs> home, work home. I'm like, it was pretty boring, you know. I, I was like, no, I don't want that, you know. I've seen enough in movies and stuff that people can really live, you know, have a social life, you know, yeah. and not just work, work, work. And and so, um, and the 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 the. the, the, the you know, the, the, I, I, fall in, I started falling in love with the movies, um, but it was not, it was until when I did something in school. You know, school we do this uh, Easter plays, Christmas plays. Yeah. You know, so I happened to be um, um, one cast in a play, and I did what I saw in movies. You know, without even thinking that I'm an actor. And after everybody from the teachers to my colleagues was like, "Hey, Charlie, that was good, though. Charlie, you did very well." I'm like, oh, really? You know, I mean, it's what I see. You know, so that's what I, I did. But it was fun, and and so still not wasn't sure, wasn't sure what to do after national service and all that. You know, I happened to join the national theatre. Um, they normally have a, a visiting 
a director from the U.S., uh, sponsored by the U.S. artists then, and who come in and has a workshop. And I participated, and I was handpicked. I was selected to be uh, a part of the National Drama Company um, as, as a guest um, actor. And that's where it, it all started uh, for me, and, and then the, the passion came in and all. Yeah. What year was that? That was um, 1994. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <Yeah. laughs> Some of us, you can't relate seriously. <laughs> all right. So, so, so what, what time did you realize that now this, this thing is becoming serious and it's becoming more and more part of you and you can really yeah. do something with it. I think that it was more of what people were telling me, you know, yeah. because for me, I really didn't see it, you know, but people were, were giving me commendations and, and, and people that I respected even in the field and the industry were like, look, I mean, you have something in there and I think that you should pursue it. And so for me, while I was still figuring out what I really wanted to do, I thought that, look, why not? I mean, why, why are we the time? Um, so I said, look, let me just pursue it. And then I got into school mm-hmm. and then, you know, the fulfillment started coming in. I, I realized that I was loving it more and more um, mm-hmm. when I was beginning to get to know much more about, about acting, not acting, not just um, physical, I mean, practically, but the mm-hmm. theory aspect, the history of the actor, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I completely fell in love with it. And that was where I realized that, oh, you know what? Let me take this on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And and have you ever regretted ever doing that? Oh no, not at all. I haven't. I haven't one bit. <laughs> oh okay. And um, I have I have this. Um, I have Frima. Um, normally I don't call her Frima. She's also in France. Uh, okay. She 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 admires to be a movie. Um, I think movie director or something. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know whether she can hang on till till the end of this show. So maybe uh, she wants to. She wants to hear something from you. Uh, she's now. She's now. She's now in France doing something, and um, because okay. of coronavirus, he, she came to Ghana and she, she has not been able to come back to Ghana. So I think oh, she boy. she's planning of doing going to Nafti or something as well. So I don't know whether right. she, she wants. She, she wants you to. She wants you to address her. I don't know. So if somebody yeah, wants to I be mean, an act- actress, is it good to go to mm-hmm. NAFTI, go through that process? I think that is what she wants to know. Okay. So, so NAFTI is, is a purely, a, more of a technical institute, you know, so yeah. um, where we're mostly dealing with people behind the camera, you know, from, and as you said, directing, um, if she's interested in directing, as you said, do you say directing or act, act- Directing, directing. I think more of directing. directing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that NAFTI is your best bet. Um, currently and it, it, it's always been a, a little you know thing that we have and i think that it, she should should take it uh, you know take a trip to nafti um get to know um you know what, what it takes what the options are um whether it's short courses or long term you know whatever and, and and find out for herself i mean i think that for now technically nafti nafti is your sound best, yeah. all right yeah. okay so, so were you also did you also go to nafti or something of that sort Interestingly, I didn't go to NAFTI. I went to the School of Performing Arts and then yeah. to Vitz University in Jobeck. But um, I was called on on, on to by, by the NAFTI um, then um, to come on board because they wanted to introduce a, a new um, subject course, yeah. which was acting, acting for the screen. And yeah. they thought that um, I could come in and and, and you know sort of. Um, share my expertise in the area and knowledge in the area and and so they they got me on board to be a part-time lecturer yeah. um you know so um i've been i've been teaching acting for the screen in nafti for at least five years you know um yeah mm, all right all right thank you very much so i mean um if for example if your kid wants to go into acting what will be the advice <laughs> for, for 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 that person well, I mean, we, we I, I, definitely I won't stop him. You know, I'm, I'm definitely I would um, more I'll do more of guidance. You know, guiding him, especially having gone through my journey. Um, you know, from hindsight, I can tell him that look, these were the mistakes that I did, um, and so avoid these ones, and so that you can, you know, things will move faster for you, and and you can have um, advantages, take advantages of opportunities that I w- was mm-hmm. not able to take 
mm. advantage of so that um, he would be a better um, um, all-rounded um, act, uh, actor, actor than I than I am or I would right. ever be. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So um, there's Thompson Lotson saying that um, yeah, that's my lecturer. Uh, are you a lecturer? <laughs> yeah, I'm a part-time lecturer in NAFTI. <laughs> oh, bow wow. Oh, okay. All right. I, oh, fine. Oh, good, good, good. All right. So, um, so, I, <laughs> so how, how did, um, from now, like from now, what, from now to next year, what are some right. of the things you would like to see in the, in the industry, in the movie industry or in your yeah. life? Right. I, th I think that more importantly, you know, we're, we're living in times where, you know, at least this pandemic has taught us that um, life can be very unpredictable. Um, I know we know death is inevitable, yes, but you know um, things like viruses, yes, you know, can also just catch us unawares. Of course. And I think that for an industry that thrives on, you know, the togetherness, coming together, and even in the U.S., I know that it's hampered production. You know, so uh, we're not we're not in this alone. Um, but of course, what I would want to see is us looking into the future and, and sort of um, projecting into the future that times like this may, may be with us now. I mean, Corona has taught us that, look, it, could, it, it might even stay with us. Who knows? And, or maybe there could be something else. And so um, let's prepare towards the future. How do we um, still engage our audiences and, and give them, you know, the best of, of us even in the absence of, of premieres, of, of, uh, of, of cinema, um, um, how do we engage the online um, platform so that we, we still keep that, that, that bond going and, and still give them the quality that they deserve? And so uh, we may have to go into the technical areas um, of, of, of engaging um, um, our audience, um, you know, and even in our production, how, how we are going to tailor our production so that we are, in a safe environment that we're, we're, we're trying as much as possible to keep our social distance and still make good movies. So these are the conversations that we need to begin to have in order that um, we'll, we'll be prepared that when something like this happens, we'll, we'll not be handicapped, you know, because um, this caught us unawares and, and we're, we're really struggling, you know, um, trying so hard to, to, to find ways in which we can um, send, you know, do work and then, and then make some income. So, yeah. I spoke to Kofia Samoa the last time, I think last week, right. and there are certain right. there are certain things that we talked about. I would like to bring those uh, those stuff as mm -hmm. well to see what you think of right. those as as we as we move on. All right, and also with the Corona, since you touched on Corona, um, do you think that yes. um, this can help the industry positively, or is degrading the whole the whole development of the industry? I mean, look, it, it depends on how we embrace it. You know, if, if we see it as a destroyer and, and therefore, you know, we're, we're so um, pessimistic, I mean, it, it would definitely drown us already. We have challenges already. I mean, foundational, structural challenges. And so we need to see it as probably maybe a blessing in disguise. I think that um, in, with everything that we're, we're faced with as, as a human race, we find ways in which we triumph over. And so uh, we need to em embrace it and look, let's even assume that Corona is here to stay. I mm -hmm. mean, we hope that it, that's not the case, but yeah. if, if we want to assume that it is, well, how do we, you know, sort of live with Corona, you know, um, and, and therefore thrive. And, and so I think that, Yes, we can fully act take advantage of this fully. And, and, and mind you, you know, today where everybody is, is online, you know, but just by the click of a button, I think that our audiences, we can get even our numbers even there. Um, there are people who would rather stay home and not go to a cinema of uh, because of proximity, um, you know, and et cetera, because we have less cinema houses. People are thinking, oh, I have to take a um, car or trotro all the way. And when they close, challenges of transportation, mm -hmm. especially when they don't have a car. So of course. the, 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 the percentage of, of our audience who cannot, you know, go to the cinema. And therefore, these are people who are in the home um, setting. And therefore, how do we reach out to these people and increase our numbers? So I think that it, it is a blessing in disguise that we should take fully advantage of. All right. Yeah, I, I think so as well. And um, so um, yeah. what, what is the most challenging thing as a movie actor right now in Ghana? <laughs> well, apart from apart from Corona, <laughs> um, <laughs> because be, be, um, because before that, Corona, 
people were yeah. complaining massively that um, people oh, were complaining that about about so many challenges and all that. But I want to know from your your side, what has been the most challenging yeah. thing? I, th I think that you know, first of all, it's it's some kind of structure. I think that we 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 have operated. People have done um, independently produce movies. Um, we haven't had the backing of of uh, of of. Of, of the bill that was passed recently, and today we have a national film authority. Um, these bodies are supposed to help us, um, you know, uh, realize our, our goals. And, and so, for example, if, if, if this bill is passed, we know that um, a certain percentage of some fund we can access. Um, and we have corporate bodies coming into it um, legally, officially, to support um, what, what, what are the areas that we can tap into that can aid us. And so I think that the structural, the structural wise, um, we lack, and, and that has contributed in, in us not being able to really move at a faster rate. Um, I think that um, areas like regulations, you know, um, it is very key that for a nation like ours, and if you look at places like Hollywood, et cetera, more advanced, that there, there are rules and regulations that, that, that are guiding what we do. And, and if we don't, we don't fall into that frame, then everybody puts, gets some capital, puts, um, you know, people together, equipment together, and then they produce anything. Of course. Um, I think that, you know, as a, as, as a people, there's a focus. We, 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 we have a culture. We know where we're heading towards. And so our, even the content that we produce must have a dialogue with mm -hmm. us as a people and not that we just want to, you know, um, 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 sort of um, trigger uh, people's um, sort of wild um, imaginations and, and <laughs> whatnot. And so I think that these are a few of the challenges and also the fact that we also don't have access to uh, maybe schools and opportunities that would sort of um, um, allow potentials to access um, and, and sort of um, uh, improve on themselves. So people are relying on talent. Um, talent is good. Um, no two ways about that. But how do we add value to those talents? Um, and in other words, how do we add knowledge to the talent that we have? And today, uh, talent is not enough. We, we really need to steady what we're doing and, and see how the advanced areas are, are, are doing. Um, they are moving at a fast pace. They're not just mm. relying on talent. Mm. How do we, you know, with the new technology that is coming up? Um, and so adding knowledge, and, and I think that that's where we lack. Um, and so these are a few of the things that make um, uh, performance and make sometimes medio mediocre. Mm. And it seems that we, we keep on repeating the same old things. Yes. But I think that we need to reject some kind of um, um, real serious study into this industry. Uh, why do you think it's like that? Why do you think um, anybody can just put in, like, let's say, th three or four cameras, get a crew members, do something, bring it up, series? Some of the series, sometimes we, me, I watch a lot of series. Some of the series, right. sometimes you watch in 2020, if you compare them to some of the series of, uh, for example, everybody's talking about Pusha, things we do for love and all That's that. Right. What is That's the right. difference? What makes what makes these um, old old movies unique, even better than what we are seeing today? I think that you know, in 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 those days, we weren't traveling at a very fast pace. I think that there was more, um, um, you know, the, those who the, the structure was that, for example, the National Theatre and the School of Performing Arts. The structure was that before you even come onto the screen, you must be in school or you must be doing a certain course related and therefore you know when you come onto the screen and whatever you do has some knowledge backing um and so it, it was a bit strict um but you know when technology set in and opened you know social media took over etc it, it gave a lot of people who came in without uh, pretty much technical know-how um, who probably just had passion and wanted to do something, come on board. And therefore, we, you know, it became a bit loose. Yeah. Um, and, and we also, you know, in terms of regulations, um, we're a bit slack on that. And so uh, things got onto our screens before people began to set up. Um, and, 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 and therefore, uh, that, that was, for me, the, the problem. And, and, you know, lose regulations and, and the fact that people really didn't see the need for 
for them to gain some kind of knowledge in in a technical area like 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 filming yeah yeah all right Thank you very much. All right, um, Hemp TP twenty two. Thank you very much for watching from Felix. All right. Um, so um, I had a question, very funny one. He said, "Please yeah. ask Pusha about her about of the day and whether she's still acting." <laughs> <laughs> well, Alice, uh, the, the day is no more acting. She's gone into the, the education sector, so right. she's at and. and the last time I, I knew, I know she's, uh, we're in touch. Um, she, she's teaching in GIS. Um, I think yeah. she's still there. Um, and so, yeah, she's gone into the education sector. Um, the likes of, um, who else? Um, uh, BB. BB is, is yeah, behind the scenes he, now. I think he talked about BB as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah David yeah. was, he's behind yeah. the scenes now. He's more um, doing events, um, you know, um, radio, um, etc. So, so he's much more production wise. Mm -hmm. um, Killer is, is in the US um, yeah. now, but once in a while he comes down and, and does some gigs and then goes yeah. back. And so, yeah. Uh, pretty but much why really why do you think that everybody tag you with um, things we do for that? <laughs> well, I, I think that it was, for me, it was the, the platform that really, um, projected me um I, I must say that yeah previously i was doing a, a bit of tv theater some tv dramas but but the pusher character was the one that really projected me and it was also an, in an age where um we're just embracing technology you know mm -hmm. so people had um, a lot of access um and, and so yeah i think that probably the character uh, was was what projected me um, yeah, you know, and, and you, you did it really. Uh, you were exceptional at at, at it. Like you, there were there were not there, there were no mistakes to according to me because I, I I watched from the screens and the way you walk, the way you do the things, and you know it's something you go to bed and you're always thinking of oh, 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 this guy. I mean, everybody wants to be like Pusha, and you see Case oh, really? going around shouting when you see him oh, walking. Really? Anyhow, you ask him oh, why really? are you walking this way. He said, "But I'm Pusha." You know, uh, what does that make you feel? What makes you unique in acting? Because you can watch a movie of Ajit Anand yeah. and you want to watch more. You want to do more. I think, I think one of the things that guides me is the fact that um, for me, no, no character is the same. I, I think that um, as much as possible, I, I try as, um, as much as possible to have a clear distinction from the characters that I play. I mean, even if I play um, um, Daddy, twice in, in, in movie A and then movie B. Um, I'd want to vary, you know, mannerisms, gestures, um, because we may all be daddies, but we may have different um, styles, okay. you know, so mm -hmm. um, that's what guides me, I guess, yeah. <laughs> mm, all right, thank you very much. So um, people want to know, when are you going into your own production? Is YOLO your production? Because I saw you, I saw your name tagged with YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's not my production. It oh. was. It was still um, the, the the producers behind um, things we do for love are still behind oh, okay. it. All right. um, so they, they they brought me on board. Yeah. Um, but production. I mean, it, it takes. I, I think that um, I I've actually started production, but on on for theatre, mm -hmm. and and they put up one production, but we we we're, we're, we're yet to really fully go into film, and I think that. Um, I wouldn't want to just add to the numbers, you know, I'd, I'd want to really um, take my time and, and, and learn and study in that area um, because we, we, we want to move from one level, you know, to the next. And, and therefore, um, I want to be well prepared and, 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 and before I, I launch into that. But I must say that, you know, because of um, work, you know, that's also not giving me enough time on my hands to really... Um, look at uh, production, but but it's something that we're, we're looking seriously at. Yeah. Mm, all right, all right. So, like, if we are to give you um, Ghana movie industry to make changes, right. what will be that one thing you would like to change? Huh. <laughs> there are a number of them that I don't know which <laughs> which one to leave out. All um, right, five, um, five. If there are numerous of them, I mean, I mean. Of course, one of the first thing is structure, and and the second thing is um, finance. Um, you know, um, how how even if it's pre-finance, you know, soft loans that 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 could 
no, no, no. Sometimes the, the banks do not really understand um, our industry. You know, that it's not like um, you put it into a business that will turn over within um, a certain limited time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people have a turnover, it can go into two years, into three years, you know, and you have to have that patience and understanding for, 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 for you to invest into an industry like ours. And so, you know, uh, it's like a kind of a setup that understands and that can meet our needs. Um, that, that, would be, that would be one. Um, and then, of course, I would also encourage young people who are very... Um, uh, f filled with talent to 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 really get them into um, to do courses even if it's not um, courses that are sponsored um, out there um, you know courses that that we could have um, sponsored personnel who are from experienced industries coming back home um, to really engage with us so that people will have the technical know-how and the knowledge and and when you when you add that to the talents then then you have a winning formula and so for me these are the top three for me and and that, that i think that our, our industry needs um, very much mm -hmm. all right thank you very much so um somebody wanted to know if they want to support your contents how what what is the process and how should they go about it I mean, well, if, if if you want to support, just get in touch with me. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I um, of course, I have I have a I have a management now, and um, um, you know, there are people who are more versed in the technical areas who you know we, we could we could have a a meet on and 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 you know and see how you know it's not just a matter of you um, supporting, but how do you also. Uh, what are the benefits for you who um, who are coming in to support? I think that it should be a win-win for all, and 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 so it's a conversation that we can have. Um, just get in touch with me, and, and and you know we'll take it from there. Yeah. All right, all right. I, I mean, um, a lot of people have um, data issues, so I don't keep long on Instagram so that people with yes. small data can enjoy the conversation. Right. So I go a bit fast. Right. So um, I I just want to know um, what. What is that one thing that you ever encountered um, that you nearly gave up along the along the along the journey? Well, I think that it was um, during things to do for love times. You know, um, I think that you know during those times we normally have invites. You know, so maybe there's an event, and this particular event was at the uh, children's park. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they invited some of the actors, you know, mm -hmm. the cast of the Institute for Love to yeah. sort of um, get that here. And so we went, and when we we, we got there, um, I saw this. Um, there was this young boy. I think I think I'll put him around ten or eleven. And I think he was, he was working with a woman. I think it was a mother, and he recognized me. You know, so he took off from the mother and then rushed into my arms. It was like, you know, hugged me and then yeah. excited. I also hugged him. And, and then I realized that his, ma his mother had not recognized me. Yeah. And so she was wondering, ah, who is this person that my son is hugging? Is he a relative? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that was mm -hmm. what she was thinking. Mm -hmm. And then as she got closer, she recognized that it was me. Okay. And then her expression changed. She got... Um, got a frown on her face. She got upset, and then she held the, the hand of the son, and then dragged him, and said, "Stay away from such rascals." Oh. And then, and then she moved with the with the boy. <laughs> oh. I mean, and, and I mean, the look on the boy's face was just. I mean, just just yeah. killed him. You know, and and you know, it really. I'm like, it made it got me thinking that. I mean, what what what, what am I doing? Is this what what people think um, that people cannot distinguish between the actor and the character that we play. Um, and, and people think that, you know, I, I must be a bad boy to play such a role. And, and probably maybe I should, I should change, you know, maybe I should play only goody goodies um, characters, you know, so it, it really got me thinking, um, but it took, it took a few, um, you know, well experienced um, 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 colleagues in the industry to really get me um, back on because they said that I must be doing something very, very well for, for people to, of course, um, for people to believe that, yeah, that's true. And so, yeah, that, that really um, psyched me up again and, and lifted up my spirits and for me to continue. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So, viewers, I'll be taking a lot of your questions today, but I just want to finish with um, some few ones. Um, so who is your mentor? Who, who, who was your mentor? 
Start well, I, I I have a, a lot of a number of mentors. Um, you yeah. know, I, I remember the first time I I, I got on stage. Um, it was um, what do you call it? Um, David Donto Theater. Um, Hello. <laughs> okay, he took from nowhere. <laughs> Hello. <Okay. laughs> right. okay. So, so I think David Donto um, Theater. That is your son. Uh, yeah, that's that's my son. All right, so, all right, all right, all right. How old is he? He might be a very small boy. How old are you? Five. What is your name? Ryan. Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, that's it. Oh, all right. Yeah, Ryan. Nice meeting you, Ryan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so David Donto was the one for theater. Um, you know, mm -hmm. David Donto was um, definitely the one, and of course Denzel Washington. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always fascinated by his versatility. You know, and and so he was one of the persons that I really looked up to in the beginning. And I mean, and depending on the stages, you know, at, at a given time, somebody else would be a mentor. But, but at least these two people. Where, where to a large extent, my, my two mentors. And I, I see some similarities in your acting as well as Denzel. I see a, a, a oh. bit of that. Yeah, when, for example, when you are hungry, yeah, yeah. I, see, I yeah. see something, yeah, yeah I see something similar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, a lot of people enjoy you, be, uh, admire what you do, and especially Thank the you. way you act. And you cannot start a movie of Ajit Anand and abandon it. You, you would like to see, you like to watch to the end. And, you know, a lot of, I, I think it's not just me, everybody, you know, everybody likes the way you act, you, are, you, you, you go about things, all right. So, um, what are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. So, okay, let me finish. Okay. I, I, this will be my last question. Getting into the movie what? industry, somebody wanted to know how you got into it. I think you already talked to us about that. So um, that yeah. one thing, one challenge that you encountered in the industry that really, really got you like discouraged and wanted to get back or get out of it. Yeah, I mean, I, as I said, um, my experience at, with the, with the, this, this boy's mother was one, definitely one. Um, but then also... Um, you know, you go into the, you know, I left for school and then I came back and you go into the field and realize that there, there, there's culture, you know, and sometimes theory does not, you know, mm -hmm. with, with practice. And so you go onto the field and realize that the, the people are practicing things in a certain way. You, you can't just, uh, it was tough for me to go in there to sort of um, let people know that, oh, before you do this, you have to do that. So for example, um, I'm giving scripts today. And then they say, oh, I'm shooting on Monday. That's just three days. Or let's say two in two days. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, that was the culture. And, and if you give me two days, I will not be able to deliver the way you'd want me to deliver because I need time to study the character. I need time to understand the story, do my research. There, there's some roles that you have to go to the hospital. You have to go to the military base to, to observe mm -hmm. how these people, um, um, you know, uh, behave, etc. You can't just, you know, imagine some of these things because these are real life situations that people should relate to. And so you need time to study. And and if you look at, I mean, I mean, in contrast when you look at the 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 the, the, the Hollywood, for example, you really, people are given scripts two years ahead of time. Of I mean, people like the Lord of Rings, they, they have their scripts advanced two years because you have to go into training and when somebody is a swords master you know he's done six months of training you know so you can't give me a script today and expect that monday we're starting you shoot what you're going to have is mediocrity you know? mm. so so this was one of the things that really I, I just wanted to give up because it was like people really did not understand what, what I, was, I was i was talking about and it felt like oh would you yeah book long book long you know mm. but you know we, we're, we're we're shooting ourselves in the foot um, when we don't give time to really research and, and study so that the best comes out. And so that was one of the things that really, um, yeah, really got, got to me. Yeah. Oh, all, right. all right. So, so how did you overcome that? How did you finally go to overcome that challenge? Well, you know, it, it, you, you have to coax people. You know, you don't, you don't always... <laughs> right, 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 stop, stop, stop. You don't you don't always go in there and say that hey this is not how they do it you know do it this way it's it's 
It's a culture. They've done it over and over. So I go there and look, Charlie Massa, I beg you. If you want me to really deliver, can they give me like one week, two weeks? Then they'll scream, say, hey, no, 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 it's too much, you know? Then, okay, oh dear, one week, one week, one and a half. Then they'll say, okay, okay, you dear, yeah, one week, mate. You know? And then gradually, they, they word got round, the producer will say that, hey, sir, quite new dear, uh, if you give him the script two days, you do it all. Just one week, two weeks. So, so people started getting to know that. And they started um, embracing you know, that, that thing. Exactly. You know, exactly. Hmm. And then people, started you and know, it joining in and that, well. precisely you know because then you get the best out time. of the, the, the actor yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's good that's, i spoke to i spoke to kofi asama like yeah. i just said and he said we shouldn't compare um our local industry our Ghanaian movie industry to to let's say hollywood it's something that we don't have to draw that contrast or that comparison between the two of them what what, what, what do you have to say about that I think your line is breaking. Yeah, it's now. Good. Can you hear me? I think my next way. Okay, say no, that no again, worries. please. No, I get. Is it, it better? I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's better. It's be yes, it's it's fine. So I spoke to Kofi Asamoah, and he said that um, right. we we don't have to compare Hollywood to our local industry to Ghana movie because um, we cannot draw that contrast between the two of them. One is already developed and the other one is now developing. So we cannot compare the two of them. What do you have to say about that? Well, I think that, you know, generally, I mean, it, it, we, 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 I mean, it's advisably we shouldn't do that. But I think that we can speak on the specifics, you know. Um, and so, for example, um, when we talk of um, delivery, you know, in terms of the acting and uh, performance, we can compare. Uh, the thing is that, and I've, I always tell people that, you know, that there's a tendency for people to look down on people who, um, whose medium of is the vernacular. And, and therefore, oh, you know, they've not gone to school, etc. But we'll be, we'll be doing a, mis a mistake. Um, the thing with, with the local um, um, industry is that in terms of delivery, they, they, I would even put them slightly ahead of us. That's in um, when, when, when they deliver, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. 